we need to prove uh, that uh, we need to prove that the PL of minus one uh, is minus one to the L. Yeah, we need to show that P L of minus one equal minus one to the L. All ready? Uh, now L could be an even integer and an odd integer. So, uh, so yeah, so uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, take, if L is even, meaning 2, 4, 6, 8, etc. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah uh, if L is even, then if you look at the series in, uh, I don't know if you read the section, you have to be somewhat familiar with the... Uh, I recognize a pattern there. Uh, in, in, the, in two point in the box uh, two point eight, it looks like it's uh, it's um, one over one over l times l plus one x to the uh, x to the l minus um, um, minus uh, minus l minus one. Um, no, if you look, uh, if you look at the series, so th so Legendre this Legendre equation or Legendre polynomials came from solving the differential equation that you see at the beginning of the section using the series solution that we used on the previous section. And when they did that, uh, uh, th they came up with Y, which is uh, one solution depended on A0, and the other solution, which is the zeroth coefficient, and the other solution depended on A1. Okay, and then in, in equation 2, 7 in the book, uh, you could see, uh, you could see the, the, the y, what y equals. Okay, bunch of a polynomial multiplied by A0 plus another polynomial multiplied by A1. Okay. Uh, now, if L is an even integer, uh, like say, for example, uh, 2 or 4 or etc., right? uh, you only have the A0 series. And the reason for that is because uh, the A1 will diverge. Th this discussion has been made in the section. Uh, so one of them will diverge, the other one will survive. Or converge so uh, so when L is even uh, you will get your Y to be uh, a zero times uh, so I'm just copying now the the a zero part 1 minus L times L plus 1 uh, over 2 factorial x squared plus L times L plus 1 times L minus 2 times L plus 3 over 4 factorial plus bunch of other terms. So this would be the, uh, the, uh, the y. Uh, so this would be the y. Now, um, so we know that the A1 series diverges. A1 series diverges. 
uh, when x squared is equal to 1. When x squared equals to 1, which means x squared becomes 1. Um, uh, that means uh, x could be plus or minus 1. And uh, in either case, that series diverges. Um, now, if, if, you, if you look at this polynomial, right, and if we try to find a value of y equals 1 when x equals 1, and that's just in order to uh, uh, select a value of a0, uh, when you do that, when for y equals 1, x equals 1, you select a value for a0, the polynomial that you get is called a Legendre polynomial. And that's what you write for PL of X. Okay. So if you choose, uh, for example, uh, A0 to equal K. So that when Y equals 1, X equals 1. Okay. And if you plug it in, you will get... PL of X, Legendre polynomial, will equal to C, that's for A0, plug it in, 1 minus uh, L times L plus 1 over 2 factorial X squared plus L times L plus 1 times L minus 2 times L plus 3. Oh, by the way, the on the first one here, I forgot the x to the 4. Uh, oh, okay, reconnect the same password. So I'm just writing the polynomial out, not doing anything. Uh, okay, over 4 factorial, x to the 4 plus the extra terms. Right? Um, now, if I were to consider PL of minus X, then uh, I will get uh, the same exact thing because X squared will stay minus X. So I replace X with minus X. I get the same exact thing. I get this guy back here. Now, what does that mean? That means... Uh, when you get f of minus x equals f of x, it's PL of x is an even function. Therefore, the Legendre polynomial, L1, is an even function. That's an even function, no? Okay, um, now uh, let's consider the L to be odd. What happens if L is odd? So we've taken the case where L is even. Now if L is odd, then uh, A0 in that series in equation 2-7 in the book, the A0 is divergent. Uh, when x squared equals 1. It's a series that's divergent. So now this time a1 remains. We only have a1. And what's a1? a1, if we copy it, that's a1 x minus l minus 2, l minus 1 times L plus 2. So I'm copying the second part of equation 2, 7 over 3 factorial x cubed plus L minus 1 L plus 2 L minus 3 and L plus 4 
over 5 factorial x to the fifth plus a bunch of other things higher order terms now again it's the same argument if you find if you select the value of a1 for y equals 1 and x equals 1 you get the Legendre polynomials pl of x so uh, so let's do that same thing again so when x equals 1 y equals 1 uh, let's this time call it uh, a1 equals c for example and if you write it out you will get pl of x equals c times this whole thing uh, x minus l minus 1 l plus 2 over 3 factorial times x cube plus l minus 1 l plus 2 l minus 3 l plus 4 over 5 factorial x fifth and the rest okay now if you were to take pl of minus x then uh, the, e, the sign will flip because uh, uh, if you replace every x with minus x uh, all of these are odd so we will get minus c times uh, this same thing down here if I factor out the minus sign so uh, what that means is that pl of minus x equals minus pl of x and therefore if l is odd uh, pl of x is an odd function okay well if that's the case we proved that for l is even uh, uh, pl is even function and for L is odd, we get an odd function. So we can easily say then uh, that uh, PL of minus X is equal minus 1 to the L PL of X. Because if L is even, then uh, we just, the minus 1 to the L becomes positive and they're equal. And uh, that, because, uh, because we proved it's an even function, F, and if L is odd, you get uh, one equal negative the other, which we proved because then it's an odd function. Okay? Um, and uh, so and so now uh, they want uh, specific. Uh, so now they want X equals 1 in that equation. Well, for X equals 1, if we plug in x equals 1 into this, yeah, into this equation here, uh, so you can get what they're after, uh, you will get PL of minus 1 equals uh, uh, minus 1 to the L PL of 1. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, uh, PL of 1 is 1. This guy here is 1. So if you replace that with 1, you get PL of minus 1 uh, equals uh, of minus 1. is equal to minus 1 to the L, which is what they want you to prove. So it's all based on examining uh, the even and odd function uh, properties for the Legendre polynomials. That is the final answer for the problem.